It is now 7 o'clock. I'd like to open the Sutton Town Meeting. If I could ask everybody to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. First of all, happy Mother's Day to everybody out there, all the mothers, and hopefully everybody else called their mother. But I hope you had a wonderful day yesterday. I'd like to welcome all in attendance tonight. This, the Springtown meeting is traditionally set to concentrate on budgetary items and the most important, in my opinion, of the two meetings. So thank you again for participating. I'm also hoping you have educated yourself on exactly what is being voted on tonight. I know there's been a lot of information out there, especially the town's website and the YouTube channel. For those who are here for the first time and are not familiar with the process, you will see that the process is not overly complex. An article will be read by the sponsoring board or individual. A second on the article will be needed, and I will then ask for the opinions of the corresponding boards. After this, I will open the discussion phase, phase before a vote is taken. As always, I expect individuals to res be respectful during the discussion phase and to understand we are all here to put the best interests of the town and the townspeople first. Please refrain from any outbursts <coughs> or raising of voices during any portion of the meeting tonight. I know there's obviously a little bit of a tension in town, but in the end, what counts is that we Setonians, and it is Setonians, by the way, respect each other's opinion, even if they do not align with yours. It has been a long-standing tradition in the town of Sutton to recognize those individuals who have recently passed and have pre previously served the town of Sutton. This year, the town would like to recognize Clark J. Alderman, who is the Outreach Director at the Sutton Senior Center, Francis N. Ronconi, Recreation Commission and Election Official, and Barbara A. Wade, who served on the Housing, on the housing Authority. The dedication this year is dedicated to Robert Bob Nealon, who left us during fiscal year 2023. His commitment to and involvement in the community will always be remembered fondly. Bob served as a select board member for nine years. Bob was equally dedicated to education and advocated for improvements to the school system. We honor him this day and understand that all of Sutton will be forever grateful for his dedicated service. If I could please ask for you to bow your heads for a moment of silence. Thank you. Let me go through some ground rules before we get started. Non-residents or non-voting members of the audience should be seated in the marked area to my right. Given permission, some of these individuals will be granted to speak on an article given their role within the town of Sutton or their association with an article. A reminder that unless you are a registered voter, you cannot vocalize a response of A or nay when it comes to voting on an article. I ask that anyone addressing an article for discussion to please go to the microphone that's situated right after these first set of seats in the back. Oh, there's actually two, so on both sides. Thank you. Good job, Anna. Once there, please state your name and address for the record. Speak directly into the microphone so everyone can hear you clearly and make sure to use your singing shower voice. Okay, speak up. Uh, this meeting is being taped and is not live to encourage participation, but will be available on the town's website, suttonma.org, shortly after this meeting. So please, we want to make sure people are here and those who are not able to attend to hear your comments. 
As I do every year at the Springtown meeting, to the chagrin of this individual, I need to appoint a deputy moderator in the event I am unable to fulfill my duties as moderator. This year, as I have done in the past, I'd like to appoint Mr. John Greenlaw to the position of deputy moderator. All those in favor of Mr. Greenlaw presiding in this role, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Good thing, John's not here or he would. For the record, the town of Sutton has adopted chapter 39, section 15 of the general laws, requiring a two-thirds vote by statute. The vote need not be counted unless the reported results of the vote are immediately questioned by seven or more voters in attendance at the meeting. I will limit debate on any article by an individual to three minutes during the discussion phase. I am not gonna use the penalty box timer that was used the other night. I'll keep track of it here. And if you get to the point where it's about 30 seconds left, I'll just put my hand up. Um, also, if the discussion phase is the same arguments continue to happen over and over again, I will ask or entertain a motion to move the question, which basically goes to a vote. If need be, tellers will be appointed to tally votes if a voice vote does not clearly declare a decision. The tellers will be sworn in by the town clerk and utilized if needed to do a standing count. I will dispense with the reading of the warrant. As mentioned, please make sure to review the warrant, the warrant as to the exact nature of what is being presented on each article. Several articles refer directly to the warrant, and I want to make sure that everyone is aware of what they're voting on. The town clerk will note the return of the warrant was properly posted and properly returned. Thank you, Laura. This meeting is for the voting residents of Sutton. By being here today, you have the important role of making decisions that will affect the future of this town. I want to thank all of you for taking the time again to attend tonight's meeting. One last note before we get started, just a reminder that town elections will be Tuesday, May 28th. Precinct one and three will be voting in this location and precinct two will be voting down at the Manchard Fire Station. Polling hours will be 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. So with that, we will now move on to the warrant and the first article from the select board. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to receive the reports of the town officers and committees. Second. Thank you. Finance and, finance and Warrant Advisory Committee, your recommendation. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Moderator, the Finance and Warrant Advisory Committee voted 6-0 to recommend passage of this article. It's now open for discussion. Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 1, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? I declare Article 1 passes by unanimous vote. Article 2. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to authorize the cemetery commissioners to employ themselves in the work of the several cemeteries and to fix the compensation to be paid from appropriations from said department. I'll second that. Thank you. FinCom, your recommendation? Mr. Moderator, the Finance and Warrant Advisory Committee voted 6-0 to recommend passage. All right. Also now open for discussion. Also seeing none, all those in favor of Article 2, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Article 2 also passes by unanimous vote. Article 3. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to authorize the Board of Health to employ themselves in the performance of their work necessary to maintain health standards set by their department and to fix the compensation to be paid from appropriations for said department. Second. Thank you. Uh, Warrant Advisory Committee, your recommendation? Mr. Moderator, the Finance Committee voted 6-0 to recommend passage. Okay. Article is now open for discussion. Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 3, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any nays? Okay. Article 3 passes by unanimous vote. Article 4. Mr. Moderator, 
I move that the town vote to appropriate the following sums for the operation of the sewer department for fiscal year 2025. Salary and wages, $268,919. Operation and maintenance, $591,064 for a total of $859,983. And as funding, therefore, that the town vote to raise the $859,983 $983 as follows, user fees, 859983 Second. Thank you. Ben Calm, your recommendation? Mr. Moderator, the Finance Committee voted 6-0 to recommend passage as this is the annual authorization for the Sewer Department budget. Article 4 is now open for discussion. Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 4, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Article 4 passes by unanimous vote. On to Article 5. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to appropriate the following sums for the operation of the transfer station for fiscal year 2025. Salary and wages, $57,78. Operations and maintenance, $275,000 for a total of $157,353. And as funding, therefore, that the town raises $157,353 as follows. User fees, $157,353. Second. Okay. Hearing a motion and a second. FinCom, your recommendation? FinCom voted 6-0 to recommend passage of this article as this is the annual authorization for the transfer station budget. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 5, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Article 5 passes by unanimous vote, unanimous vote. Article 6. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to fund the following operating budget for the fiscal year 2025 period in the following manner. General government, 2,040,965. Public safety, 3,420,000. 566. Education, 21,391,830. Public Works, 1,167,923. Human Health, Health and Human Services, 387,002. Recreation and Culture, 314,518. Debt and Interest, 3,186,691. Insurance and employee benefits, 5,268,392. Transfer to the Capital Stabilization Fund, 722,768. For a total of 38,900,655. The article be funded in the following manner. Raise and appropriate the amount of 38,495,570. A transfer from Health Insurance Stabilization Fund, 56000 A transfer from the Capital Stabilization Fund, 234673 A transfer from other reserves, <coughs> excuse me, 2931 A transfer from the sewer enterprise for indirect cost, 89164 89, A transfer from the Transfer Station Enterprise Fund and indirect cost, 22575 for a total of 38,900,655. Second. Thank you. Hearing a motion and a second. FinCom, your recommendation? Mr. Moderator, the Finance and Warren Advisory Committee voted 6-0 to recommend passage of this article. This is the annual authorization for fiscal 2025 budget. Okay. Article 6 is now open for discussion. Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 6, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Article 6 passes by unanimous vote. Article 7. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to appropriate the sum of $1,040,500 for the purchase and or lease purchase of departmental equipment, the remodeling, reconstruction, and making of repairs to town buildings, including the cost of architect and engineering services and all incidental and related costs as may be necessary to authorize leases, the lease purchase agreements for terms up to five years for the following projects and in respective amounts below relating to fiscal, the fiscal 2025 capital plan. 
from the school department, the elementary school early learning center loading dock, $50,000 from free cash. For the school smart boards, $140,000 free cash. For the school RTU upgrade replacement, $75,000 from free cash. For the school elementary school band entrance doors, $40,000 from free cash. For the school, middle school, high school LED sign, $50,000 from free cash. From the school, camera equipment, $10,000 from free cash. From the school, replace salt and sand spreader, $8,500 from free cash. For the school, replace well number two pump, $15,000 from free cash. For the school, athletic fields upgrade, $20,000 from free cash. For fire, Turnout gear lockers, $32,000 from free cash. Uh, for fire deputy vehicle, $75,000 from free cash. For police vehicle replacement, $125,000 from free cash. For the police IT upgrade, $63,000 from free cash. For highway, replace H17, $85,000 from free cash. For highway, asphalt hot box, $45,000 from free cash. For the town, LED sign at Boston Road, $50,000 from free cash. For the town, elevator upgrades, $12,000 from free cash. For the assessors, personal property revaluation project, $15,000 for free cash. For the cemetery, Howard Cemetery Expansion, $130,000 from the Cemetery General Care Fund. For a total of $1,040,500. And to meet this appropriation, transfer the sum of $910,500 from free cash and transfer the sum of $130,000 from the Cemetery General Care Account and further to authorize the Select Board to take any other action to carry out these projects and that any unspent items from this capital plan be returned to its original funding source for future appropriation. I'll second that. Thank you. FinCom, your recommendation? The, uh, Mr. Moderator, the Finance and Warrant Advisory Committee voted 6-0 to recommend passage of this article. This is the fiscal 2025 capital plan, and it is an integral part of the town's budget. Thank you. With that, it is open for discussion. Seeing none, all those in favor of... Whoop, come on down. Almost got there. Hold on one second. Yes. Hawkins, uh, 65 McClellan Road. Uh, David Hall read it and he said 1,040,500, but our sheet is saying 1,090,500. Is that because of the fiber optics is no longer part of the capital plan? I'm just wondering why it's different from what we have printed here and what David read. Uh, yes, you're correct. That uh, 50000 will be used out of ARPA funds, which don't require appropriation. So that will bring it down to that number. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. I'm not sure if this gentleman is going towards the microphone or he's going to the bathroom. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All those in favor of Article 7, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Article 7 passes by unanimous vote. Article 8. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to authorize the treasurer with the approval of the select board to borrow in anticipation of reimbursement by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts for the town's share of the state aid to highways under Chapter 90 in accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 44, Section 6A. Second. Thank you. Finance and Water Advisory Committee, your recommendation? Mr. Moderator, the committee voted 6-0 to recommend passage of this article. Uh, stated another way, uh, 
This allows us to borrow the money so that we can uh, proceed to get the roads fixed while we await state reimbursement. Thank you. Article 8 is now open for discussion. Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 8, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Are there any nays? Article 8 passes by unanimous vote. Article 9. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to approve Article 9 as printed in the warrant. Second. Thank you. So just to make sure that for transparency's sake, this is to see if the town will rescind the vote taken under Article 12 of the May 8th, 2023, the annual town meeting transferring the 370000 from the Special Education Tuition Stabilization, Stabilization Fund for the purpose of funding the school department's cost. FinCom, your recommendation? The uh, FinCom voted 6-0 to recommend passage of this article as stated by the moderator. Okay. <laughs> it is now open for discussion. <coughs> Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 9, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Article 9 passes by unanimous vote. Mr. Moderator. Article 10. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to approve Article 9 as printed. Oh, I'll turn the mic. Forgive me. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer $88,023 from free cash to the op opioid expense account as printed in the warrant. Second. Thank you. FinCom, your recommendation? Mr. Moderator, the fin uh, Finance and Warrant Advisory Committee voted 6-0 to recommend passage. You'll note in the, um, uh, in the printed material it says $82,653. And it was uh, increased. There was uh, some additional funds um, were found, I guess, uh, in there. And the, uh, but this was printed be, uh, after our meeting. But we met again, and we uh, again approved it 6-0. Okay. Thank you. Article 10 is now open for discussion. Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 10, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? I uh, declare Article 10 passes by unanimous vote. Article 11. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer 85000 from the Compensated Absences Reserve Fund to the FY 2025 Police Department Chief's Salary Account to pay the vacation and sick leave buyback for the retiring Chief of Police. Second. FinCom, your recommendation? Mr. Moderator, the FinCom voted 6-0 to recommend passage of this article. This is a legacy item for employees uh, working before 2008. And again, this is a buyback for unused sick and vacation time. Open for discussion. Seeing none, all those in favor of Article uh, 11, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Okay, so before, um, actually I'll declare that it's a unanimous vote. But before we move on to Article 12, I'd like to recognize Chief Toll and to thank him for his service and dedication to the town of Sutton for the past 30 years, 17 and a half of those years as a chief. So I wish you well in retirement. Good luck in gardening. I've seen you play golf, so good luck in gardening. Okay? <laughs> but thank you. Article 12. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to approve Article 12 as written in the warrant. I'll second that. Okay, Article 12, uh, FinCom, your recommendation? Mr. Moderator, the FinCom voted 6-0 to recommend passage of this article. The town's expense will be approximately $100,000, and this is to replace uh, a bridge, and the state will pay the rest, which is estimated between three and four million dollars. Thank you. Article 12 is now open for discussion. Okay, also seeing none. All those in favor of Article 12, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Article 12 passes by unanimous vote. Article 13. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to approve Article 13 as printed in the warrant. Second. <clears throat> this article pertains to the eligible call firefighters who are elevated to full-time status 
to receive retirement credit for the time they were called firefighters. FinCom, any recommendation? Uh, Mr. Moderator, the Finance and Warrant Advisory voted 6-0 to recommend passage of this article. Um, but one clarification, I believe this allows them to buy back uh, time. Yep. Right. Okay. Yep. So they can, so if you're moving up from part-time to full-time, it gives you the opportunity to buy back retirement credits. Now open for discussion. Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 13, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Article 13 passes by unanimous vote. Article 14. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to take no action on this article. Second. Thank you. So the reason for this is that not all of the paperwork was put together uh, in time for this meeting. It may happen in the fall. Am I correct, Ms. Hagar? Yes. Okay. Wow, you threw your voice in the gym. That was good. Okay. So regardless, we're, we're still going to just make sure that we're, we're handling this properly. So. All those in favor to take no action on Article 14, please signify by saying aye. 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 I'm sure there's nobody opposed, but I'll ask. So Article 14 is take no action. Thank you. Article 15. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to approve Article 15 as printed in the warrant. Second. Second. Thank you. FinCom, your recommendation? Mr. Moderator, the FinCom voted 6-0 to recommend passage of this article. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 15, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Article 15 passes by unanimous vote. Article 16, sponsored by the Sewer Commission. $172 from the Sewer Enterprise Fund Connection Fees Reserve Account to fund the town's share of the cost to remediate a sewer main break at 63 Canal Street in Millbury, pursuant to the terms of the intermunicipal agreement with the town of Millbury, including all incidental or related costs. I'll second that. Thank you. Finance Award Advisory Committee, your recommendation? Mr. Moderator, the uh, Finance Committee voted 6-0 to recommend passage of this article. You'll note that when we met, uh, the, the estimated cost was 90000 but it's now down to 54-3, so we're happy for that. So we, we vote yes. Okay. Article 16 is open for discussion. Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 16, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Article 16 passes by unanimous vote. On to Article 17. Jack Sheehan again, 26 Jones Road for the Sewer Commission. Mr. Moderator, I move that the town vote to transfer $170,000 to the Sewer Enterprise Fund retained earnings to upgrade and replace the programmable logic controller at the wastewater treatment facility, 23 Huff Road, including all incidental or related costs. I second that. Thank you. FinCom, your recommendation? Mr. Moderator, FinCom voted 6-0 to recommend passage of this article. Open for discussion. Seeing none, all those in favor of Article 17, please signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Article 17 passes by unanimous vote. Article 18. James Mitchell. 31 Dodge Hill Road. Closer. Okay. James Mitchell, 31 Dodge Hill Road for Blackstone Valley Regional Vocational Technical High School. I move that the town vote to approve the $10 million debt authorized by the Blackstone Valley Vocational Regional District School Committee on February 15th, 2024, and amended by its actions on March 14th, 2024, to pay costs of roof reconstruction and the replacement of energy efficient rooftop HVAC units at the Blackstone Valley Regional Vocational Technical High School, located at 65 Pleasant Street, Upton, Mass., including the payment of all costs incidental or related thereto. <coughs> Such debt approval by the town to be contingent upon the district's ability to secure grant approval 
from the Massachusetts School Building Authority Accelerated Repair Grant Program. I'll second that. Thank you. For a motion and a second. FinCom, your recommendation? Mr. Moderator, the uh, FinCom voted five in favor, one opposed, to recommend passage of this article. This is a replacement of approximately 60,000 square feet of roof and uh, HVAC units that have aged. Uh, it, as stated, it is uh, dependent upon the Massachusetts School Building Authority um, uh, uh, paying a portion of this. It is estimated that it will be between 50 and 55 percent of the $10 million will be reimbursed by the state. The total cost of to the town of Sutton will be between $33,000 and $35,000 annually. Sutton's share, though stated at 8.1, that's what it was, that was the number that we had when we held our meeting. But after uh, calculating all 13 towns and looking again, Sutton's share would be 8.4 percent. But again, uh, the cost will be between 33 and 35,000. Thank you. Article 18 is now open for discussion. Okay, all, uh, seeing none. All those in favor of Article 18 signify by saying aye. 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 Are there any opposed? Article 18? One no. One no, okay. So, it passes by majority vote. Thank you. Okay. That was the final article for tonight's meeting. Holy cow, that was a speed round. Um, I guess now we can go watch the Celtics, hopefully win. So I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Mr. Moderator, if I may, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. We have a second. 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 All those in favor? Aye. Anybody want to stay? Can I oppose that? You can. All right, then. Thank you. See you in the fall, and have a great summer.